All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be installing an Anchor Wizard on the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. Um, first thing first is, as you can see down here, I've got mine installed on the Anchor, on the uh, Boondocks Landing Gear, which I think is a pretty good spot for it. Um, I do have this little Yak Attack, um, I forget what they call it. It's just a little uh, Yak Attack tie down or something like that. Uh, I got that to keep my wire nice and or my rope nice and straight. Um, but I think this is a good mounting position. You can also put it back here or mount you a track system right here where this boondocks is. Uh, it's like a gear track there. But I think with this, it elevates it a little bit, gives me the straight line to here with this. Now we're going to be going to the back of the boat here, where we have the chute. Okay, this is the Anchor Wizard chute. I am going to be using this. I don't think I've ever used this. I've always just ran it through an anchor trolley or that tie down, and then through the nose or something like that. But if you want to mount a track to this back area, say you're mounting it on the other side where there's no through, uh, no screw holes, like this has the four pattern for the power pole micro anchor and other stuff. Um, I don't use a micro power pole anymore, mainly because of spot lock, but um, if you wanted to use this side over here, you can mount a, get another gear track and then use your T-bolts. I'm just going to be using these screws to screw directly into the chute. And what I want to do here, yep, I have perfect clearance there. Now what I want to do is make sure I do use the outer one just so it doesn't interfere with the rudder. Um, I don't know if it actually would interfere with the rudder, but why risk it if you don't need to? So let's unscrew these plastic screws that come with the boat. And these are just quarter, 20 screws. I think they're one inch. And they're really just to hold it in place and hold it on here. You can use a washer if you'd like. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. There you go, that's nice and installed now. I'll just loosen this up, run it through here. I'm gonna clip it just like that. Boom. Now we've got an anchor wizard installed in the back back here. All I gotta do is put my ball, either a four pound or eight pound is what I normally use depending on the current and everything, what I'm fishing in and how much weight I wanna bring with me. Usually the four I can drag a little bit if it's really windy or there's a heavy current. The eight pound usually ties me down pretty good. That gives you a front anchor position with the Minn Kota motor, and then a rear anchor position with the Anchor Wizard. Check out Anchor Wizard. Um, if you can get the heavier duty one, the metal one, that's the way, way I would go. Uh, the plastic one, I've had to replace this uh, spool in it. Um, so definitely check out Anchor Wizard, and if you can, get the more expensive, heavier duty one. It's not as low profile, but it sits up a little higher, but I think it longevity wise, it, it's going to be a better buy. But anyways, guys, that is how I installed an anchor wizard on here. I'm not really planning on using an anchor trolley at this point in time, just because I can anchor in the front with the motor and anchor in the back with this. I don't feel like I need to move the anchor up and down. Um, maybe, maybe I'll change my mind on that, but for now, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.